Quick, delicious midweek meals, I think, require clever shortcuts. And one of the ones that I use is pre-bought gnocchi, right? You can get it from the supermarkets. These are potato dumplings. So that cheat will gain me time, but I'm still gonna make in one pan a beautiful, sweet homemade tomato sauce, homemade pesto. We're gonna celebrate seasonal veggies. We're gonna get fast food on the table really quick, and it's gonna be scrumptious. So let's do it. Get your pan, whack it onto a high heat. In we go with a little swig of olive oil, two cloves of garlic, and we're gonna make a beautiful homemade sauce. So I'm just gonna peel this garlic and finely slice it. See that little bit there? I'll push that aside for the pesto. Most of the garlic goes into this pan, and let's get it frying. We go in with the gnocchi. Season it and love it with salt and pepper. I am gonna now make a really nice sweet tomato sauce. And if you wanna have real delicious sweetness, there's a little trick. Um, try and buy plum tomatoes. That makes all the difference. The plum tomatoes are A grade. The chopped ones and the passata are B grade, okay? Just pour them into your hands, clean of course. And then when they're in your hands, just crush them. Slowly but surely. Don't cover your shirt. I normally do. So half fill your tin with water and pour it in. You can see it coming up to a little simmer. So let's get some veg. Asparagus, we love. What I want to do is just let it bend naturally and let it break off and you'll get the woody part. And then where it clicks, you just have the pure tenderness. And I'm going to put a little wadge in each half of the pan. Just push the gnocchi side. And the asparagus is going to cook in the sweet tomato sauce. So if you think about when you blanch greens, asparagus, any veg in the water, a lot of the goodness goes in the water, then down the drain, right? Not here, the goodness is staying in the pan. So a lid goes on top. Three minutes of cooking. Now in that time, we're gonna make the most beautiful homemade pesto, but not with basil, with spinach, and not with pine nuts, with hazelnuts. So this little bit of garlic is more than enough, okay? A pinch of salt, we bash it up in our pestle and mortar. Every kitchen needs one. If you haven't got one, you can just finely chop things. So we take a nice big handful of hazelnuts, and in we go. Give them a good pounding. Then we're going in with spinach, 100 grams, and treat it like a herb, okay? Smash it up. When we eat spinach, it's fresh, irony. So we're gonna play with that. Yes, pesto comes in a jar and it's convenient, but it never ever tastes like that. It's just got surround sound in flavour. It's just full of it. Delicious. Great in some parmesan, like that. And we want to just muddle it with a few tablespoons of olive oil. And you'll see the texture completely change. Look at this! Look at the colour! I've got one last little flavour hit from a loyal friend, Mr Olive. So we don't need loads, let's take four. Four olives, that's all you need. Four olives, these will make all the difference. When you buy an olives, get the ones with the stones in, okay? Just squash them and squeeze the stone out. Really simple, these will taste three times better. So all I do is just tear them up, really scruffy. I like to kiss it with a little oil, like that. So now we get two nice big spoons of our homemade pesto over the asparagus. It's going to be amazing. Look at that. Then we get those few little olives. Hello, Conker. You can always smell the food. Beautiful, one pan wonder, made with love, using little hacks and shortcuts. Little bit of Parmesan on top, nice long strokes. Look at that. Beautiful. What I love about this dish is I'm never bored of it. It's comforting. That, for me, is satisfying, quick midweek cooking. 10, 15 minutes max. You rattle that out. So tasty. Sweetness galore. You've got that little hum of garlic and the parmesan and those hazelnuts. Come on. I really love the spinach pesto, because it's fresh. 
and then the asparagus, just cooked in the tomato sauce. Excuse fingers. That is a humdinger of a dish. What a great one pound wonder.